So today we have the 2021 SeaDoo GTI 130. I'm going to be doing some fuel consumption test on this model. And today I'm going to do the eco mode test. I want to do an eco mode and a wide open throttle test to uh, see the fuel consumptions. I'm going to be doing it on the river today. This river is usually about a two to three mile an hour current and it does, you know, widen up and get pretty big. So pretty good bit of water flow. That may affect the numbers a little bit, but this is where I mainly ride. So I'd rather uh, start off with the test here, you know, just to kind of give me an idea of what it does on the river. Probably be a little different on the lake or in the ocean, uh, you know, since the current will have some effect. But I'm going to put it in the water, full throttle and eco mode all the way down until I turn around. I'm going to try to do a wide sweeping turn to keep the speed up to what it normally is. In eco mode, uh, the RPMs should stay the same since it'll be full throttle there the entire time. And uh, I'm gonna time it and measure the distance. And uh, once we get back, I'll load it back up, go refill the tank, and we'll see how much fuel it burns during this ride. And uh, I'll calculate some numbers and we should have some results. But um, a couple things about the ski. It's, it's fully stock, and I'm about 205 pounds. Me plus my gear, about 230 pounds. So that's just for reference. It would maybe change a little bit, you know, up or down on that weight, um, especially if you're carrying an extra passenger or something like that. But uh, temperature 75 degrees, we're at an elevation of about 100 and a full tank. I'm gonna get it in the water here and do the test and then I'll do the calculations. Pretty excited just to see, you know, real world numbers. So as you can see here, we're running 35 miles per hour downriver. Straight line speed upriver is about 31 miles per hour. Now the speed does come down when you turn in eco mode because it's based on the RPMs, not the actual speed. So on curves in the river, or if you're taking turns, you know, anywhere, that speed is gonna come down. It can come down to 25, 27 or so, but this is straight line. So here's our total moving time. Here you can see our total distance traveled, which was 11.9 miles. Here's the amount of fuel we had to put back in the sea -Doo once we got it trailered and got it to the gas station, 1.72 gallons. All right, so I've done some calculations using the data we gathered. It's a little higher than I thought. Uh, gallons per hour come to exactly 4.5 given those numbers and the miles per gallon, 6.92. These values are a little higher than I thought they would be. I uh, thought they'd be just a, a touch lower as far as on the gallons per hour and the miles per gallon would be higher, obviously. But you know what they say, if you want fuel mileage, get a Yamaha. One other thing I'll bring up here is I am on a river. Uh, it's a pretty big river, strong current. These numbers could definitely change if you were on uh, different bodies of water, such as a lake or you know in the ocean. And as I mentioned earlier, I did this on the river because that's where I ride a lot. And so I wanted to kind of know what it does out there in that current. Hope you like this video. I really appreciate you watching it. Maybe it gives you just a little bit of helpful information since I haven't seen these out there. Y'all have a good one.